Hi, I'm Aaron, I'm the Digital Coordinator for Social Media here at Leeds Heritage Theatres and this is In Conversation with me. If you're watching this, you've either just read my blog post about my role or you stumbled upon this on YouTube. So if you haven't read the blog, you should head over to leedsheritagetheatres.com to read an extensive look at life behind the scenes as me. Over on the blog, we've been doing in conversations with lots of people who work across LHT in different teams and really covering the ins and outs of all the different job titles. And since today is National Social Media Day, I thought what better time to tell you about my life. The best part of my job really is getting to experiment with ideas and sort of switch up the way we're creating content on a wider scale and this is one of those ideas in practice. We've been doing it in conversations for a little while now and I really love seeing behind the scenes of what other people in the company do and so I thought it would be a really nice idea if we took that idea and then put it on video. So this is kind of a trial run of what it would look like if we did in conversations on video. So who am I? Well, I work as the digital coordinator for social media as I have said and in the past few years of my life, I've done a bit of lots of different things and they've all somehow led me back to theatre. I got my undergraduate from Oxford University in English Literature before moving on to the Guildford School of Acting to get my Masters in Stage Management. I then worked at Waterstones in Leeds for a while, running their social media, which then inevitably led me to running social media here at LHT. It's a strange feeling because it feels like a lot of the moving pieces from my life for the past few years have sort of clicked together for this role and it's a lot of things I'm really passionate about and I've had a lot of experience in and now I get to do it full time on a day-to-day -day basis making content for everyone who follows LHT online. There's so many parts of this job that keep me on my toes but I think I would say the best part of it is the interactions and collaborations we get to do with our visiting companies. The photo calls, the press nights, all the things we do to support the tours that come into the ground are really really valuable to me because it gives me more experience and I get to take some incredible content and meet the cast and crew. I've only worked here four months so far and the most interesting part of the job for me has really been broadening my horizon about what LHT actually is and what they do. Even living in Leeds, it's really easy to assume that LHT is just the umbrella term for the Grand City Varieties and Hyde Park Picture House without thinking there's much else going on behind the scenes apart from what you can go and see on stage at any of those venues. But in working here, I've had so many fab opportunities already to collaborate with our learning team, going to Leeds Grand Youth Theatre and their learning workshops, the Grand Academy, and seeing all the things they're doing that aren't really the sort of things the regular audience gets to see on a day-to-day -day basis. If I had to pick the things that are most exciting for me in an LHG year in review, I would say first and foremost the Hyde Park Pitch House reopening. In fact, this blog post is going to go live on Friday the 30th of June, which is the day Hyde Park Pitch House reopens with screenings of Asteroid City, the Wes Anderson film. I have been a long time fan of Hyde Park Pitch House ever since I was a child. My dad used to take me there to see movies like Goonies, and then later down the line when I was an adult we went together to see horror film festivals. So now getting to go and see it in its new form is so exciting. I did go along to Hyde Park Picture House yesterday to take content at their press day and it was absolutely crazy to see the work they've done over the past three years. So that's definitely one of the things at LHG I'm most excited for this year. And there's definitely a few shows coming to the ground that I'm especially excited for. Shows that I've always had a lot of love for, like The Mousetrap, which I've definitely seen about three times now. And I should be making some really cool blog content about by the time it does come into town, so keep an eye out for that but also shows like Jamie and Greatest Days, which is the Take That musical, are shows that I'm absolutely so impressed by, and it's gonna be so exciting to get to work collaboratively with those teams, as well as just see the shows a bunch of times. My LHT snapshot of what I'm doing today at work, well, besides producing this video and editing this blog post, at the time of filming today is the Rocky Horror opening night, so we're doing Rocky Horror press night tonight, which is really exciting, and I should be able to make some really fun content with the press and the audience. I will throw some social handles on screen, but honestly, it's as simple as subscribe to the YouTube, go and see what we're doing on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok, and keep an eye on the blog for more exciting content exactly like this.